All right, guys, so today is a special day, not just because I'm showing my kooky Nissa deck that I'm in love with, but I'm also 30 years old today. So yes, I am shamelessly farming for comments in my YouTube section for the YouTube algorithm. I have no shame. So what's the point of this deck if you haven't seen it already? Um, I know some of you guys have posted in here that uh, you think it's really weird. Uh, but that's what makes deck building fun, right? Like I want to, I like making weird stuff sometimes, and it's really nice when it actually works. So um, I'm obsessed with School of the Wizard, as everyone that subscribed to my channel knows. I think it's super sick. Um, I wish all card games had some kind of like mechanic like this to streamline decks, so it's not so RNG based. Like I played um, at my local Magic store on Friday for the first time in a while last Friday. And I just remembered how, like, garbage magic mechanics are. Like, I like magic, okay? It's just, you know, it's Russian roulette every time you draw if you're going to get a land or not. And it's nice playing in that IP and, um, you know, getting a mana every turn and having stuff like this. So it's like you can play control or play aggro or play midrange with a consistent strategy, right? But, um, so, anyway, uh, School of the Wizard, you're playing this... Uh, you're basically paying it for the payoff card of Elemental Mastery, six cost spell, make two drop five fives, and with sneak and kill your opponent that way. The familiar reduces the cost of a random spell in your hand by two. Signature spell drafts a signature spell, adds it to your hand. So just super consistent strategy. And uh, one of the reasons I like uh, Blue White Jace is because you can Day of Judgment and you can Second Sun's Dawn and still get uh, a big body out of it, right? So it's not so tempo negative, and that's that's the struggle with control and always has been that's why like man lands and uh magic the gathering are so strong is because control like board wipes you and then you're like cool eat my land creature um so <laughs> it's uh it's really nice getting a body after you board wipe so you're not leaving yourself defenseless after the board wipe right so to facilitate to facilitate that i am playing uh, lava wave because it'll trigger elemental mastery i'm playing the day of judgment because it'll trigger elemental mastery and um, it's really powerful to board wipe and then get a big giant creature. So uh, playing the Birds of Paradise is a little bit of ramp. Scion, help you curve, it's a threat late game as well. Neurobot adds a random blue card, so it's just some card advantage because Nissa can struggle with that. And also since I'm playing, I'm not playing a utility land because I want to get to Elemental Mastery and the board wipes as quickly as I can. And having a utility land can really mess that up. So I was testing Forest today, and I definitely wouldn't have won a couple of the games I won if Forest wasn't in here, right? Uh, rampant Growth, just a way to uh, get to what I was just talking about faster. And then we have Tusker, which is the stat stick. We have the Giant Growth, because people don't expect it, and it's like pseudo-removal for us. Um... A druid, after you play a mana, after you get a mana gem that's not from your land, draw a card so you can draw from Rampant Growth and from the Birdie. But um, even if you don't have those cards, it's still just a 3 drop, 3 4, so it's not horribly statted and can provide some necessary draw power for this deck. Elite Forest Guard is also in here because um, obviously you get a spell for um, Elemental Mastery like Plummet plus, um, you know, any of your big spells. Same thing with. Uh, Naturalize and Nuzzle with uh, Ejected will proc it as well. Um, but sometimes, you know, you just need to deal with a pesky fly or something like that. So uh, gives us a little bit of versatility. Also, your opponent could have some, like, annoying artifact that's drawn them a bunch of cards or something like that. So it's just a good utility card, right? We're running the Stag because it will two for one, which is basically our um, different type of way of getting card advantage in this deck. Ejected, it's five six of the way to mastery, and we're kind of low on spot removal, so ejected it is. Second Sun's Dawn, who yourself over seven, add a second sun to your deck. So it helps you stabilize, triggers mastery, and then second sun deal ten damage to each enemy that includes their face. So it'll also trigger elemental mastery once again. We have the Brawling Behemoth, which again could could be a two for one or even a three for one. It deals with annoying flying creatures, it has reach itself. And then we've already been over the Lava Wave. And then we have the Crusher Worms as our secondary win con. Um, it'll force the opponent to board wipe, or if they've already board wiped us dealing with our sneak creatures, then we just build a new board for free. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and thank you for watching. Oh boy, Ashiak, I don't think, uh, 
I think our deck's way too slow for this. Might get lucky. Might get lucky. This battle is going to be epic. I don't know about that, bro. This helps. And creatures, I mean. I don't know. The forest guard I can put back. That might help Tusker stay alive longer if they have a crab. Seek knowledge. Seek knowledge. Yep. Alright, so next turn I'm going to play Familiar, reduce the cost of Rampant Growth, and uh, play them both next turn. That way I can, uh -huh. um, you know, ramp and I like like doubly accelerate myself, right? Uh, sure. Okay, so here we go. No, I'm just ahead of the stupid client. There we go. All right. And then I can play this and arm this next turn. If he plays the bird, I could get plummet with this. Time for a field test. Oh. A okay. get ours by our turn six but I wanted to get it sooner because I ramped that'd be very helpful can you keep a secret Open your mind. pick your poison The entire board loses to interest. Yeah, I think I feel like the only reason he blocked with the one instead of the two. Maybe he just wants to drain blood. <clears throat> yeah, I was really hoping to get signature spell this turn, but I didn't get it. Bullseye. Yep, there's drain blood. Oh, nice. Ooh. I'm not gonna play enough spells for chain lightning to be good. So I think it's hero's call. Boundless potential. Okay, that's not bad. One. Perfect one's craft. Uh. Oh. Goodness. All right, well, I know they don't have negate. And this is going to get fouled or um, go gamed or whatever, right? I really needed to get this sooner. Like, even just one more turn sooner is a really big deal. Yeah, if he wants to um, Fatal Infection, then I know I'm going to get the 5 in, so... Yeah, works for me. If he doesn't play... Okay, that's fine. 
Okay. I got you. Man, maybe maybe I have enough gas I can make this work. It's kinda wild. Let's try and punch him for a lot. So he has a removal spell, obviously. But the uh, artifact this gives for uh, trample might be might be real clutch. Right now, I'm really glad I have forest because if if um, any other land had proc before now, I wouldn't be summoning this on turn eight, right? Nice to meet you. He didn't remove this. That's kind of insane. Okay. So let's attack, try and get some damage through. Yep. Cool. Alright, so now I'm making him have to play... Um, clear the field, right? He has to play it. Oh, he's at, only at 7. Cool. And he could potentially... Um, hit this next turn and not get a mana gem. So this could be two turns I have this out, out here like this. I really hope this goes off next turn <coughs> and buys me a couple turns, right? Yeah, so I'm just gonna Lava Wave, get a dude, even if he clears the field, I'll be able to play Crusher Worms and the Sneak again immediately. So I think this is this is quite strong. Okay, so ta-da. Wow. He has to back to back clear the field. He doesn't have clear the field. Wow. All right, let's go. I was gonna say this could even kill his sneak creature that clear the field gives him as well. That's something. There's no answer for four mana. I have ejected and this to play to get rid of two blockers. Yeah, it wouldn't even matter if you had more blockers. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, uh, who? Maybe he was hoping uh, have a lot of. Uh, let's just do this. Time for a field test. Wow, I can't believe we got that game, and that was pretty clean. Uh, combination of the lands, how they both interacted for both of us, uh, the signature spell, um, a lot of stuff came into play there. Wow, that was really cool. Ooh. I respect the Ashiok a lot. I mean, the uh, Chandra Ashiok. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> I need to rinse my mouth out with soap. I meant Chandra. Um, I think she's super, super underrated and always has been. I think Chandra's really good. The only reason I don't play it more on the channel is because I think people find it boring. Um, Crusher Worms is a way to kind of close the game on them, but I want to keep early stuff. So I'm going to bowl everything and just try and get some earlier plays. Ooh, woo, two, three, four. That is, that is strong. This guy's probably like, what the heck? That's cool. I don't want him to know what I'm doing. Well, I definitely got the early curve of my deck. Let's hope it's enough. Yeah, haste or sneak would have effectively been the same because it wouldn't be able to answer it by then either way. So I'm taking three either way from that thing. Um, I'm gonna play the Neurobot and hopefully get this trait. Um, I mean, all right. <laughs> Probably, probably won't have time to play it, but that's funny. Alright, cool. So, uh, 
trade and then I'll have a favorable on this with the Tusker. Now if I draw like uh man. Alright, so big booty, and then I'm gonna go double Tusker next turn most likely. <clears throat> Chandra's fast, man. Chandra's real fast. Probably won't be able to take this. Oh. Sorry, not how don't know how long OBS was going crazy. Oh, apparently it still is. One second. Alright, I'm really hoping that stopped it. Looks like it did, and I'm not going all crazy anymore. Alright, so they attacked me with this monstrosity. Um, so I'm gonna take... Uh, like, I'm gonna take two from this anyway. So basically I'm taking one more by doing this, but I get to keep my creature. So I think that's objectively correct. If they have another one of those, I'm just done. I'm mega donezo. Okay. I'm gonna attack. I'm cool with the trade. Um, that's what I would trade into this anyway, probably. Well, I guess Tusker probably would have just taken this. But I don't want to leave everything with just one health because Flame Shot wrecks me. So that probably isn't a good idea. This is probably the best idea anyway. If I must. Whoa, Mr. Greedy Greedy. Alright, let's see. Maybe, maybe I can go hit him for some damage as well. Hopefully this picks off something and then like that. That's a really good something. That's a very good something. Heal for two. Ugh. I want to race with you. Alright, so here we go. Okay, now you're going to take eight most likely. Ooh, unless he blocks here and then flame shots the other one, and then this is the only thing left. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting flame shotted. But that'll take most of his turn, right? So, can't be too mad at that. And then I can familiar and reduce the cost of this. And I still have a creature left, but I still have this creature left. So, it could be worse. And you might not even have flame shot, you might just be setting up for it. <laughs> yeah, flame shot. Ooh, no flame shot. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully this doesn't hit me and then he lava axes me. Um, okay, that gets me out of that range, which is kind of sick nasty. Um, it doesn't matter if I do this or this first, because if I do this and it reduces this, I can't play it anyway. So, um, Rar, who's the aggressor now, Chandra? Let's go. Familiar will die to flame shot as well, but I'm gonna play it in case he doesn't have it. Also, another target for this, so uh, it doesn't go to my face if that procs. Bold one here. And this will make my lava wave. Um, Ooh. I'm actually gonna play this. The wild has your back. I am not alone. Yeah, I'm gonna play that. Okay, please don't give him lava axe. I mean he might not be playing lava axe. I don't like the black version anyway. Um sure. I'm gonna board wipe you because I have the forest, so there's no chance that it won't happen. And then I'm gonna attack for game. Let's go, dude. Let's go. If I must. Yes! Really good games with this deck. I love this deck. I know it's kooky, but I love it. Can't can't tell me can't tell me anything different. Ooh, we have a Jace. I'm going against Spellslingers to actually play myself. Okay. Um. I don't know. I hope I just get to my Elemental Mastery first, and I hope uh, I draw like Crusher Worms. <laughs> Alright. 
So those two are exactly how I facilitate what I'm talking about. Let's see what you have in mind. I wish they made Jace older. I don't know why Jace is like. Looks like he's like 16. It's kind of weird. I wish Jace was older looking. Seek knowledge. I'm just gonna do that. Um, I'm just trying to get to Elemental Mastery as quickly as possible, so as soon as I drop Familiar, I'm slamming it, slamming Signature Spell, and I'm hoping I get there first. And I'm gonna do it whenever um, they're not holding up two mana, preferably. Yeah, so here we go. So if I draw a signature spell, I'm going to slam it, because I know they don't have something to stop me. Uh, so they're guaranteed going to get to their signature spell next turn. No. Darn. Um. We can trade here, that's fine. And then I'm going to Tusker, and then... I might stag just to poke him, but I'm not sure. Boundless potential. Okay, so that looks like negate to me. So I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. Ah, okay. So it was remand. Bad news, friend. So I want to do this now while his shields are down? No, I, I don't think I do. Let's get the crab out the way. I might have to go crush a worms, let him board wipe me, have his shields down, and then do my main game plan. But I gotta get I gotta get rolling. I really need this to go off by the time he elemental mastery, so then maybe I can play mine in kind. And that's another way his shields could be down. Okay. Ooh, a little slither. Alright, so here we go. Don't need this anymore. Guess I'll take that. Boundless potential. I've got three. Can't play anything. This is just kind of weird, but. Yeah, if he masteries, then he opens the door for my Crusher Worms. Cool. <laughs> Let's make some room. I know it would have been five, but... If he doesn't board wipe, then I'm gonna crush a Worms and add stuff to the board anyway. Okay. Now if you day of judgments, hopefully I'll top deck my elemental mastery and I'll actually be able to play it. <clears throat> so see how that works out. Whoa, he popped the so ability. Possibilities. Wow. I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. Uh -huh. I'm in super mega big trouble. Okay. Allow me. Yeah, he's just gonna trade everything off because he's gonna day of judgment the next turn. I'm actually not well 
I could not do this, but then he's going to remand me and stuff for the rest of the game. So even though it's not what I want to do, I have to do this now, and I'm going to get day of judgmented, but it's better than uh, my elemental mastery getting countered. <clears throat> now, if he doesn't have it right here, right now, that would be fantastic. I just don't see how that's possible. Woo, okay, well, he's digging for it, and they all cost one, so... Could I be that lucky? He's seen over half his deck now. Is this the salty pause? I think this is the salty pause. Problem solving is my special. That's fine. He's not gonna do it anymore, I don't think, right? And it might be harder for him to trigger his elemental mastery now that everything's so darn cheap, right? Drink deep from the of life. Alright, so yeah, this is this is a stag turn if I've ever seen one. Um, so we're gonna stag. Swing. And I'm not gonna not play it, right? Well let's let's see what this is first. Ooh, okay. Alright. So he could have found it last turn and didn't think it was worth to play on the last two worms, but um I'm living on the edge here, living dangerously. I really need any other spell to play with this so I can actually... Feel the oh, that's a max of seven. Yeah. Stinks that this won't take that out. Can't win them all, right? Alright, so four... Ew, shell game. Alright, so if he plays two more mana worth, because that shell game was costed... It won't tell me what it costed him. I'm just getting started. Okay. I've got a plan. That's pretty cool. So we can go three. Pick your poison. Plummet, please. There we go. Um, I'm gonna attack, and then if he blocks something and kills it, I can play. Well, no, I don't want to play this yet. Let's do this instead. Alright. Man. The Day of Judgment's gotta be coming soon. <laughs> it's got to be. It just has to be. Alright, he's been having it. I'm about to say. Like, this can only go on for so long. 11 cards left, my 19. That'd be interesting if he ended up decking out. Mm, that's kind of scary. Oh, he got that off a of scepter, didn't he? Alright. Yeah. unimaginable things. Do I just Scion? I don't know. See, this is where it just gets... I don't know if it's worth playing like a 2-2 Scion, so we're just gonna do this. Really needed that Lava Wave, right? Yeah. Unsummon? Buy himself a turn? Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. I can't not play the game, so... Yeah, man, yeah, it's over. <clears throat> It's got to be super over at this point. I'd have to rip, like, Day of Judgment now. Um, well. Yeah, that really, really seals the deal, I think. Well, 
I think that really, really seals the deal. Um, that early pop of his ability was really strong. Yeah, there we go. All right, I don't mind losing that game. Uh, Jace is sick. I didn't expect to win it anyway. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>